With the clinic closing, we lose 60% of access to abortions in New Brunswick. Everyone without a family doctor or an anti-choice doctor will have to travel for abortion to Montreal or Maine, which isn't possible for many people. We're losing safety, we're losing access to health care, and we're losing a little bit of hope. We all lost a little bit of hope when we heard about the clinic closing. But when RJNB launched Save the Clinic initiative, we got hope back. In less than three weeks, we raised over $100,000. That came from people all over Canada, from other countries. So it's not that people don't care, it's that the government of New Brunswick doesn't care. We're gonna make them care. We're gonna show them how important the clinic is, how important access is, how important we are, and our bodies, our health, and our safety. Access now, access now. Hi everybody, congratulations and felicitations on coming out today. Ça c'est pour moi et pour nous à la Partie Verte du Nouveau-Brunswick une question fondamentale de justice pour les femmes du Nouveau-Brunswick. It's absolutely a question of justice. With the closure of the clinic after today, this precipitates, precipitates a crisis in health care in this province. It puts women in a subservient position that should not be the case in this day and age. To get permission, to get permission to deal with a, a time of crisis, a personal crisis, when what you need is care and compassion and access to safe and legal abortion services. So that's what we want to see in this province. The Premier has a responsibility now, right now, to take action and to make sure there is no gap, or at least no gap longer than is, is practical to ensure that those services are available. Shame on him for standing back. Shame on him for not taking action. Shame on him for being silent on this issue and hiding behind all kinds of excuses. It's a question of justice and you either stand for justice or you stand against it. And the premier of this province is standing against justice and standing against equality for this woman, uh, the women of this province. And that is, on, it sucks, is what it does. So we stand with you. This will be an issue in the election campaign. A journalist uh, earlier asked, aren't you concerned about losing votes? Of course, it's a divisive issue. Lots of people have uh, very personal views on, on the question of abortion, but those views cannot be imposed on others. Those views cannot be imposed on you. We respect those views, but it's a question of justice and not votes. So thank you very much. Congratulations to all of you for being here today and showing your support and for the incredible campaign that's been mounted to save the clinic. Thanks very much. Merci beaucoup. À la prochaine. I'm voting for David Kuhn because he believes in women's rights. He believes in every woman's right to a safe, accessible abortion, no matter where they live. Why am I voting for David Kuhn? Because I'm a woman, and I want my voice not only to be heard, but to be listened to.